Our YCharts dashboard allows you to condense and view multiple tools, including charts, screeners, model portfolios, and more on one web page. Currently, I'm on our dashboard in the Manage tab. In here, I can see all of my current dashboards, as well as dashboards that have been shared with me from colleagues and dashboard templates. Dashboard templates consist of dashboards that were shown in one of our webinars. They are also showing dashboards that consist of pretty popular modules that we have. For this video, I'm going to create a new dashboard by clicking on this button here, giving it a name, clicking Create. As you can see, it's giving me a blank white space that I can go in and customize to my liking. The first thing I'm going to add to my dashboard is a watch list. So to do that, I'm going to click Add a Module here. If I already had a list created or I wanted to use something like one of my saved screeners, I can click Browse and that information will populate. Since I have yet to save the securities in a list on YCharts, I'm going to click New Watch List here, give this a name, and then I can search for securities either by typing in the ticker symbol, I can type in the full name of the security, or if I have a list of ticker symbols, I can easily copy that list and paste it right into this box and they will populate automatically. So as you can see, I'm adding a few different funds. I'm adding some stocks and let's do one more. Once I am happy with my watch list, I'm going to click save and it will automatically populate on my dashboard here. Now that I have my watch list added, I want to go in and add another module. I'm going to click the dashboard tab, click add module, and then I'm going to add one of my fundamental charts. So you will want to make sure your fundamental chart is saved before you try to add it. I've gone ahead, made sure all my charts are saved. So I'm going to click browse and then it will populate with all of the fun charts I've created as well as any charts that were shared to me by a colleague. I'm just going to add a chart on the markets and how they're doing. And as you can see, I can switch around the look back period as well. So I've gone ahead and created a few more modules that I've added to my dashboard. I just went in and as you can see, you can add economic indicator lists, some news tabs, alerts, and scatter plots. And as I scroll, I'm seeing that when I added all of these additional modules, there is a lot of extra white space. So I could go in and drag and drop these to all fit, or what I can do is scroll all the way up, click on the dashboard tab, click condense. It's going to prompt me to keep the new module layout. And then from here, what I can do is I can see that now all of that extra white space is gone and everything fits a lot nicer. If I wanted to go in and resize one of my modules, all I have to do is find the module I would like to resize, click on this gray triangle down here, and as you can see, it will snap to its new size. In addition to being able to edit the size of the module, I'm also able, if I scroll all the way to the top here, I can see this ribbon right here. And if I hover over it, it stops, but I can edit any of the metrics in this ribbon. So to do that, all I will want to do is click on this pencil icon. As you can see, I have a few different tickers already included and I'm able to add up to 25. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few more. You're able to add indices, model portfolios, different securities like mutual funds and stocks. And once I'm happy here, I'm just going to click update and it will add that new security to the ribbon. Lastly, I am able to go in 
and edit the metrics that are found in the data tab of a watch list. Here you can see that it has provided me a few default metrics. If I'd like to go in and change those out, I can click these three dots here, click edit data columns, remove the ones that I don't want, and then I can add metrics. So you can search or view by category, or I can add an info column. I'm going to add the security name, and I want that to be right next to the symbol. So I'm going to drag that to the top, click apply. And as you can see, the symbol is here, and then the security name is listed here, along with some other metrics as well. If I want to share my dashboard with one of my colleagues who also has a YCharts account, pretty simple to do. I'm just going to click dashboard here, click share, and then it's going to prompt me to choose the client group. And then I'm going to switch from cannot view to can view. You see, you will have the option to notify people. And if you want to send them a quick message, you are also able to do that as well. Clicking OK will then confirm the sharing capabilities. If I wanted to go in and just share a specific module, all I would have to do is click these three dots here, click share watch list, and then it's going to prompt you exactly like it did when you were sharing a dashboard. If you have any questions on our dashboard tool, please reach out to your designated account manager.